Now, I was just saying that you're a total babe. Let me turn on the uh, receivers. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Geek Beat Live. We're starting on time, as you can tell. Yes. Hey, okay. can there you, you can now you talk. just replace Curly for now today? Talk. Maybe. <laughs> All right, you hop can on in there. You can talk. Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're having a great day. John will be joining me very soon. He's uh, probably still eating Chipotle at the moment. <laughs> or <laughs> getting getting rid of the Chipotle. Uh, so we have a show for you guys today. I am sorry that we are a little late. It has been one heck of a day. It's been a uh, crazy hectic around here for the last couple of weeks and is going to continue being that way because of all the traveling and conferences that Why we're doing. Why are there all these boxes in my chair? Um, because I didn't want you to join me. I don't know. I'm totally not using a tablet today because... Because we feel yes. Apple needs the press. You didn't charge it. I have enough things to think about. I just hey, now couldn't wait a think about charging my Hang device. On. Hang on a sec. Not only did you not charge any of your devices, but this morning, didn't you have a laptop that wasn't charged? I don't know what was wrong. I don't know why my laptop was not charged today. I had it plugged in all night. Maybe it didn't catch. Do you mind taking this away from me? Did you me? pay your electric bill? <laughs> right. Yeah, it's because I, I don't pay my bills. Well, I am using my tablet, but we'll see if Google Docs is back up. I did classic Mac Kevin. Thank you for pointing out that I brought John his gummies, and he hasn't even noticed it. I did notice. Thank you. You did? That might be the only thing that puts me in a good mood. Right now, I'm in a foul mood. Why? I'm in a really foul mood. Why? You don't want to talk about it? I don't think so. Is it because your brother is coming to town? Yeah, that bastard. <laughs> mm. I hear a rant coming on. Where is Google Drive? Damn it. <laughs> it's back for me, John. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to be in a you, pissy mood. Can you come up with uh, your intro, or you want me to write it for you? My, the, who's, who's opening You're me? starting it. I'm in a bad mood today. Uh, That's the first one. A two-year-old's trachea implant. Uh-huh. By the way, I got a picture. Everybody's suing everybody. <laughs> Robots Here. that smell you. And I'm in a bad mood. And Kirk's coming to town. <laughs> Are you hurting yourself over there, Pablo? Yeah, Pablo's cutting himself. <laughs> that kid's messed up. Pa poses in a mood like a boss. I should say pauses in a mood like a boss. Dude. Smelly robots. So what are you guys up to this weekend? It's got the bias turned on. There. Mike from uh, Silicon Angle is uh, playing with a new camera that he got. It's actually pretty impressive. It it's the Canon, yeah, which one? John, it's the, the SX50HS. S okay. It's the Super Zoom. John, you need to see Check that video I just shot. Freaking zoom. It's Dude, nice video. I mean, like, that's a little blown out there. and stuff. Yeah, the I colors saw, aren't like, exactly still, right. Like, I was in there. Mode. Yeah. It's like if, once I tweak it down and get a chance to really mess with it, it's uh, it should come out really, really solid. That's nice. For 400 bucks. That's it. Hmm. Does it have and a it shoots raw and audio JPEG, input? Right? Yeah, yeah, and it just shoots, it'll shoot them simultaneously. Check it out. Does it have audio input? Nice. No, it actually doesn't have an audio input. Mm. What size sensor does that one have? Um, That's a see. I stumped you. Yeah, I, it's it's definitely not the APS-C. Um, no, yeah. It may. I think it's actually one probably of probably a third the, inch or something. Uh, one of the smaller, smaller sensors. I don't think it's the uh, the was it the two three? Yeah, no, I don't think it's that size. No, it's the. Um, I'm trying to remember because I think the Sony. That's the one with Sony. That's, I think that's actually, I think that's Sony exclusive. Everybody's having to stare at me right now? <laughs> hmm. Is that why you're in a bad mood? Partially. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's par partially it. I did get my AMG back out of the shop. It Finally. What is that? It appears to be fixed, finally. So I'm it not in a bad mood be. because of that. Going back Monday. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. John, this one's been in the shop more than the Rex one was. Yeah, it has. Yeah. yeah. Scott is demanding that I get in a better mood. Oh. No. Another Scott? Oh, my God. No, this is just Scott Jetton. Oh, okay. Janice, you... Skew. Jeez, what Seven. is wrong with you and Scott? You're, like, on a rampage about Scott. Callie, can we see your T-shirt? What are those symbols? It yes, says, this is actually... This is love Windows, Windows phone. phone. This is a Windows Phone shirt. You know what? I was actually going to tweet this about an hour ago, and I got distracted. But Microsoft has the best giveaway shirts I've ever had. Oh, like, yeah? they're soft, they're mm -hmm. um, comfortable. Mm -hmm. I, I think they're, no, they're not tagless, so that's, that's a negative. But tags don't bother me like they do you, I so I don't that. really care. Uh, oh. As long as they're not itchy. Today I hate everything, though. Tags. With a T? Mm-hmm. So, um, anyway, I have a Bing shirt. It's way too big, but it's super soft and super comfortable. Do you have a hard time um, finding it? Or did you... Bobbage said her shirt just crashed. <laughs> nice. That's funny. And I like this shirt because it's cute. Smile at me. Do I have something? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. I'll be back. Big old <sighs> lipstick. All right, guys, what's happening? Hi, Wayne. I don't wear lipstick. Hi, Nick. Hi, Digital Phil. Hi, Rami. Janice Q. Um, it plays live? Oh, the landing page is playing live? Really? So if you just go to geekb. If you just go to youtube.com forward slash geekbeatv, it's showing our live right and now. And no one noticed that before now? That's awesome. It was small. You couldn't, no, you had to be close before. to you. Huh? Like, on the channel one, the new channel one is live. That's awesome. You guys check it out. If you go to if you go to youtube.com forward slash geekbeatv right now, it just it's automatically live there. That's pretty cool. The unsubscribe. For subscribed people they see this. Oh, if you're unsubscribed, but if you're subscribed, you don't get it? Yeah, it's the most ridiculous thing. What the like, hell? YouTube? If you're subscribed, you want to see it live. YouTube is backwards in terms of the way they feature stuff like that. I don't know why, but this laptop Monty says it's channel. always been like that. That laptop says what? This, on this channel, laptop for some reason, it shows the old channel. Dude, I don't even know. What? I don't know. Did this you clear cache and all that? Shift, shift, reset. It, it's showing like it's showing the old channel, but like the video that you just put out today. What do you guys? Whoa, hey, whoa, Bogomil, whoa. how are you? Happy pre-100 episode. Nice. <laughs> So I, I just got a tweet. You look like Root, the computer hacker from Person of Interest. Who does? Me? Uh, sort of. Who is that? Uh, Amy Acker? It's Amy Acker. Wait, Amy <laughs> Acker? Love you, Geek Beat, says, I would like a gummy, John. I would love to give you a gummy. <laughs> if you were here, I would share my gummies with you. Oh, okay, I know her. John, you like I know. Huh? Look. I mean, kind of. Nice. Vendetta. OK, I can kind of see that, I guess. It's not, Rami, it's not the 100th episode yet. That's next yeah, episode. Huh? This is 99, right? I have the psychopath look. Oh, I don't have, she's a psychopath? Yes. Just, it's, so num it's number 99. Phil, keep everybody straight on is episodes. Is it 99? This is 99. We're See, number 99. Paul, Monty, wow. Vimini, everybody. 99. Not How do you guys keep up with that? It I is impressive to me that you guys know what episode numbers we're on. I don't even know what episode numbers we're on the you, day we're shooting the episode. Like they <laughs> That's because Digital Phil didn't tell you today. Usually he starts off by reminding us which, which number it is. And that's how we know. <laughs> I, I would happily rant about something if you guys just tell me what to rant about. Petra oh, don't Media. Worry. You'll get. Pet Rock Media. Hello in San Antonio. Hey. I love San Antonio. Yeah. I got It's awesome. I don't like San Antonio for one reason. I was walking down the boardwalk last time I visited Hang San on. Antonio. Exactly what boardwalk is that in San Antonio? You mean the river walk? The river walk. Okay. I was walking down the river walk in San Antonio last time I visited there. I was out for a nice evening stroll. I was enjoying myself. I was going for dinner. I walked up the stairs to go to the restaurant. Plop! Bird poop. 
Oh, so it's really not San Antonio you hate, it's the San Antonio birds. <laughs> yes. The birds you hate. That was not a fun day. <laughs> G. James, no, I didn't order any Brondo. How am I supposed to get some? I need to get some Brondo. Callie doesn't even know what that is. Yeah, what is that? Is that like Mangria? Brondo is the drink from Idiocracy. It's oh. like, it's... No, it's from the movie Idiocracy. Yeah, exactly. Well, well, I, hear, I hear an echo in here. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Pet Rock Media said, yes, our pigeons are jerks. I apologize <laughs> on behalf of San Antonians. Paul Thank said, you, Pet Rock. was it an angry bird? Ha, 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 Paul, funny. That's good. Yeah. Hey, hey, Josh, uh, what, wait, wait, Josh, over in the YouTube chat room, Josh said, YouTube paid subscription. What is, oh. What is that? Oh, that's a new thing they're doing. We don't have that. How do we do a paid subscription model? I, I saw a headline that they were doing something about, but I didn't read it. What is it? Oh. Yeah. What, what have you been doing all week, Ken? <laughs> Hang Zhu said, I subscribe to the channel. I'm watching live on YouTube. Welcome. Thank you very much. Welcome. Sorry we're so late. Yes, today we do we're apologize. Really late. That's one of the reasons we're all in a bad mood today. Because nothing has worked Radio properly Dan. throughout the day. It's got electrolytes. Oh. oh. Nice, Dave. Very nice. Oh, yeah, perfect. Turn it around, John. Why don't you just show the nutritional information? It's got electrolytes. Can you zoom in? Is that the maximum zoom? Yeah. That's as far as you can zoom. Yeah, but Gord, Gord says on the bright side it's Friday, but that doesn't mean anything around here because tomorrow we will all be working um, our butts off That's true. here at the studio. Bimini, my allergies are okay, and I did not get a shot in my butt today, so that's, <laughs> that is, that's some good news at least. I mean. Okay, so we do have some stuff. Are you ready to go, Dave? Because we have some stuff to shoot after this, so we need to get move on. Richard Tech Video wants me to rant about Google Drive being offline. Oh, that made us mad. It's freaking back online now, but I'll tell you what, we were driving ourselves nuts around here because there were like 14 people in the office all trying to load their document, which we shared on Google Drive because Google wants us to do it, and then nobody could access anything. The problem we kept, is... We kept moving from one hotspot to another hotspot here. Like, yeah. we thought it was our wireless network. We just couldn't load the page. What happened? We stopped. We rebooted our router. We moved the other Why wireless hotspot into the office. None, nothing would work. Why does Google come up in a different color? Finally, we said... So uh, Google's purple. Oh, because they were using Somebody checked Twitter, and then we checked Twitter, and everybody was ranting about Google be, Drive being down. The and problem so then is we that, that we rely on Google so heavily. I mean, we use them for everything we do around here in terms of our scripts. It says the server is not available. Surely they have two. Yeah, don't they have two servers? What's the deal? What, you, are, uh, what a technicality? You want them to put in servers? Yeah. This isn't Google with the search engine. Ben's right. Google owns us. It's not like they do. It's, it's not like you know we, we rely on Google Drive to be up a hundred percent of the time, not ninety nine point nine. I want a hundred. I want a hundred. I pay big bucks for that. I pay big bucks for that free service. I want it to be up all the time for free. I know. Are you ready? John, do you know what to say? He does. I never know what to say, Dave. Okay, we're going to start the show, peeps. Okay, ready? Okay. Digital Phil's on a roll today. <laughs> oh. Are we ready? Well, I was waiting on the go-ahead, director. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, and in three, two. Hey, guys, I'm Callie Lewis. And I am John P. On today's show, I'm in a bad mood. A two-year-old had a trachea implant. Everybody is suing everybody. Robots that smell you. And we'll see if we can make it through today's episode of Geek Beat. It's okay, it all John. begins now. <laughs> <laughs> 
See what I mean wow. in the chat room? They're you are already, in a bad mood. They're already threatening to sue us for starting late yeah. today. Yeah, everyone's suing everyone. We'll get to that in a bit. No one's suing us, except for the guys in the chat room. Although Scott's telling me to get over it because I have a Coke. And you have gummy worm bum. And bum I have my Grobo. So, yeah, really, yeah. what do I have? You know, to What be honest, else could you want in life? If you think about it, I'm happily married. Uh, 20 plus years. At Holly Pose can't be, but I am happily <laughs> married. Uh, I got a nice house. Yes. Yeah, I got nice. cars. I'm healthy. You got a nice garage coming along. I work with Callie Lewis. I, I'm sorry for that. I really don't have any reason, or I don't have a right to be in a bad mood. Why is it that we, yeah. why is it that we are so spoiled that we are, we are allowed to walk around being in a bad mood when in reality we have no excuse whatsoever. Yeah, there are times when your life is just sucky, like when somebody you love dies or something that, like that happens. And that's okay to be in a bad mood, but you know, we all get in bad moods, pissy moods, and you know, like kind of snap at each other for no real good reason. Maybe I'm going through menopause. Menopause. No. You think? No. Oh, okay. So, get happy. All right. Well, Are you ready? I'll eat a gummy. Do you need a high five to get you in a All happy right. mood? Woo! Let's do this. Okay, I do have to issue one correction for the record. Yes. Because <laughs> I've been catching all kinds of flack for this. <laughs> Yesterday. On the Daily Show. I put on a Daily Show, and in the middle of the Daily Show, you know what? I decided to do an ad about my Drobo Mini. Yep. Which I love, legitimately. Right. The, anybody here in the office can tell you, I, I come in in the morning, I plug in my laptop, I plug in my Drobo Mini. When I leave at night... And he kisses it, good, you know, yeah, every time. Yeah, I kiss it, hug it. <laughs> when I leave at night, I unplug this, I unplug that, I take it home. Right. And in fact, I even have an extra set of cables so that I don't have to be unplugging them completely. There's so where's my Drobo Mini? Plugged in. Why do you get this? I took your cables. So anyway... <laughs> <laughs> I, I put, and we had it yesterday, uh, the, the show was sponsored by Drobo, the Daily Show was. Yes. As you guys know, the Daily Show each day is sponsored by somebody else, but it was Drobo's yesterday. day. So I was doing my Drobo ad, and I decided to kind of ad lib it in my Drobo ad. Right. Now, usually we script things out, read it off the teleprompter, but I didn't do that because all I wanted to do <laughs> was tell you how much I love my Drobo Mini, and that I really, honestly recommend it. So during this ad lib process, he uh, was talking about uh, what it has, like the ports that it has. He, he mentioned that it has FireWire. I said, Oops. yeah. It uh, doesn't have FireWire. And I none of us caught it. I know. It, it, nobody it, caught nobody it. caught it around here because there were too Stop. many things paying attention, I guess. What ports does my Mini ooh, have ooh, on ooh. it? No, I'm waiting for the chat room. Okay. Come on, chat room, guys. <laughs> Drobo Mini, Drobo Mini has what types of Thunderbolt Pet connectivity? Rock Media was first. There you go. Thunderbolt <laughs> and USB 3. Everybody knows that. Surely everybody knows that I know it. It was right. a slip of the tongue. I've had like 500 <laughs> people today. You know, after some point you're like, okay, I get it. It's like the, it's like the Office Space yes. movie where they're like, didn't you get the memo? I'll send you the memo. Like everybody who sees them. Didn't you get the memo? <laughs> Yes, it has Thunderbolt, not Firewire. Okay, that... <laughs> Correction made. Duly noted, I screwed up. <laughs> All right. All right, so uh, last week, um, I mean, no, like this week on The Daily Show, I think it was yesterday also, you talked about the Mars mission. Up over oh this man, one. every like after you shot the show, uh -huh. during the show. During the show, as Dave soon as I said like, it, he interrupted. Talking it. about it and asking questions about it. And then like every five minutes he would edit it a little bit and then he would come in to talk a little bit I about can't it. Tell them what it is, first of all. Well, so I don't have all the details you do, but the Mars there's like some company that is going to send a few one person to Mars on no, a one way they're, they're trip. Sending a team. 
They're sending a team. They, oh, they want to team? send some people. They're the, sending the, a team. The thing is, but they're but they're asking people to sign up for a reality show. Basically, you spend like a Dutch, seven of your. It's like a Dutch company, and they're trying to raise six billion dollars to send a manned mission to Mars. But there's a catch. It's a one-way ticket. This is colony. This is burning the ships when they get there. That's right. So what they want to do is send some people to Mars. Where you will die because you will run out of stuff. They're not going to supply you with stuff? Every two years. Oh, come on. You're going to die on Mars. So the question is, who wants to hop on a spaceship and travel for however long it takes to get to Mars where they will just die? And, and go through the training But to why get do there. we bring this up? Because that is our fame spot of the quest question of the oh, day. Oh, is who wants to go? Who, would do? who wants to take a one-way trip to Mars and die. <laughs> Would you do that? So that is your question of today for today. And I want you to leave us a 15 second video telling us whether you would, whether you wouldn't, and why. Go to youtube.com forward slash fame spot. No, geekbeat. Well, no. Geekbeat.tv. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a bad day. Geekbeat.tv slash fame spot. We'll be right back. And we're going to get John a Snickers bar. <laughs> back up. That was awesome, John. <sighs> My life is going to become nothing more than a Mistakes. a, a, a blooper reel. A, it's going to be one correction after yeah. another correction. John, you've been married for a couple of years more than me. You should be used to being corrected by now. Yeah. Wow. Mm. So, um, yeah. Go ahead. Why is it only scheduled forty minutes on this episode? Um, because I forgot to look at time. <laughs> Come on. Let's, mm. let's real quickly fix time. I mean, I'll just let it go. Yeah, it's okay. Boz Bummy. Boz Boomy. Why I don't, don't know how to pronounce that. decide how much time we have on each segment? Hey, there was a good question. Oh, yes. Uh, John P., will you give an update on your solar project? Yeah, how is that coming? I haven't heard anything about it. That's because nothing has been done yet. <laughs> So, here's the update on the solar project. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, Popovich always is always cracking me up. How disappointing would it be if we get to Mars and there are no Mars bars? That would be bad. Yes, that would be very would bad. bad. Okay, now back to the solar panels. Okay, so the deal on the solar panels is this: um, when they do the solar panels, it's amazing they are having to submit copies of paperwork in like 12 different directions because uh, first of all Encore the local energy company is doing a rebate of 30 percent of the cost of the system and so they had to fill out this paperwork send it into them is like 10 pages long I had to sign it uh, detailing out what we were doing and then they have to approve it that whole thing took like a week or something like that then that comes back, then they have to go to the city for like electrical permits and stuff. And then they also had to order the grids, the, the metal uh, racks, let's call them, because these th the framework that holds the solar panels. Sure, you gotta those, have something yeah, attached Yeah, those have to, to be manufactured. So there's like all of this stuff that has to happen that really slows down the project and takes a few weeks. Um, however, I've just heard that uh, most of that is done and they are going to be, they're planning on installing it like the 21st or something like that. Okay. Which is, what is today? Uh, like, I have no idea. But what it's only like is. another week or so. Week. It's the 10th. Today's the 10th. Okay, so like we got, we got about another, let's call it another week and a half to wait. And so when we go to, uh, when we get to that day, we're going to take the whole crew, they'll go out there, and we will start videoing everything and showing you guys the actual install. Because it's going to be massive, 39 solar panels on the roof. That is crazy. Now, there is one other bit of information that I found out that I found interesting. Part of the system, like one of the most important parts is the inverter. It takes all the power from the solar panels and converts it into, from DC into AC current and then feeds that into the house. 
Because the sun only gives off DC current. Yeah, the right? sun only spits out DC current. Yeah, yeah. So um, what's happening is that inverter is going to be mounted on the wall. Guess how much it weighs? 5,000 pounds. 140 pounds. <laughs> the inverter weighs 140 pounds. It's a Sunny Boy, in case you guys want to look it up. Do a search for Sunny Boy Inverter. It's a 10, it's a, actually it's like a 8 or 9 kilowatt. But you can, I don't know why, it's the biggest Sunny Boy they sell. Wait, I, and it has to be mounted on the wall? Can it yeah. not just lean up against it? No. They, I don't know why, but I think they rate it at 9 kilowatts, wow. although they're putting 10 into it. For some reason, they can oversubscribe them a little hmm. bit. Okay, a couple things I need to, um, that was all interesting. But oh, a couple and Pet Rock to, Media wants to know, how's Adrobo versus Synology going? You will have that in a couple weeks. That is the most requested thing. I, know. I cannot believe how many people Well, you put it. it out there and people want it. I know, I gotta finish it up. I'm sorry, guys. It's I, gonna be a couple weeks, though, because of travel. How many people yeah, how many of you guys have Synologies, and how many of you have Drobos? I'm curious. And how many have both? I have yeah. both. Uh, while we wait for that, uh, hey, Yukari. Um, so, Digital Phil, I do see you. Hi, how are you? I'm glad you're here today. I've you not look been wonderful ignoring today. you. Um, and Rebuke78 asked you to marry him. Oh, and nice. And Richard Tech Videos. How marry is the him? wall of stuff? I don't know. I'm just okay. assuming. Um, <laughs> somebody asked, uh, or Richard asked how the wall of stuff is coming. The viewer wall of fame. I even, I did a vlog, or Pablo did a vlog, and in that vlog I asked you guys to send us stuff. There's, I haven't gotten anything. There's a little bit of extra oh, space. Oh, did we put the address in the description? No. 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 There's a little Peterson? bit of extra space on the viewer wall of fame, so if you send us stuff, we can still fill it up. The address the ad is, well, are Peterson you ready? Will put it in there. Are you ready? 4002 <laughs> Beltline Road, Suite 110, Addison, Texas, 75001. All right. So now I expect some stuff. Now we need to get to the show. Techno Gonzo, yes, we're always taking questions. Always. For how long have we had the show? This 7, is episode. 75248 Digital Bill. Episode what? 75001. Oh, oh, well, yeah, you're right. I don't know where that This is from. actually episode number 99. So for 99 weeks at least, we've had this particular part of the show going on. More. More because we skip them sometimes. Yeah, a few got skipped. Okay, ready to come back? Oh, yeah, we're actually in the middle of a show now. We're going to come back from commercial. <laughs> That's funny. Who knew? Uh, we're in the middle of a show. <laughs> what was up with that? That's called screensaver. Kit Kats, yes, I want a Kit Kat. You're right, Eric, I need to break this Coke addiction. I went for like two days where I only drank water, and then for some reason I, I... He's having a bad day, but I can't get him to stop talking. All right, go. Hey, it's cathartic, isn't it, Hey guys, welcome back to Geek Beat Live. John, are you in a happier mood? Yes. <laughs> Forced happy mood. Great. <laughs> well, we have a lot of stuff to cover today. Some good, some bad. Mostly bad. Just be aware. Most of it's <laughs> bad. Are you in a mood to be all ranty because by the time this show is over, you're going to be just letting everybody have it? Well, this is a bad one, but trying to do good. Actually, that's the not true. Most of the show is good. Yeah. So, late, earlier this year, it became illegal, and we covered it on the show, to unlock your phone so that you could have it on any carrier. Um, what does that mean? That means if you buy, like, an iPhone, mm -hmm. and you wanted to go from AT&T to T-Mobile... Then you could. Well, you have to run some special software through it to gain access to the ability to change it over to a different carrier. Because, of course, carriers want to keep you, you know, locked with in. them. They want to keep you locked in. Which is so why that they call it, is calling it unlocking. So that became illegal earlier this year, but right now they are trying to change that. Mm -hmm. uh, Representative Zoe Lof... <gasps> Lofgren. Oh, sorry. What, do you know her? Is that a friend? 
Actually, um, maybe a family a family member of the person I do know. Okay, um, sorry, uh, Re Representative Zoe Lofgren and uh, somebody else are working. And somebody to irrelevant. <laughs> are working to change that and reverse that process so that you can legally unlock your phone. Yeah, they want to make so unlocking thing, right? your phone um, legal again, which it should be because it's your phone. And the other thing too is, yeah. you know, it's legal to take a CD and put it in your computer and rip the songs off so that you're using your, C your, your songs on your computer. But not for your DVDs. But not DVDs. Mm, That's no. illegal. Don't, haven't you read the notices By the when way, you load a DVD on? I've or? done that a thousand times. Come <gasps> and get me. Sean. They're trying to make that legal too. DVD ripping should be legal. I it don't should know, be legal. It should be, but does it really like... And I break the law every time yeah. I do it. I don't care. How I took an entire you? DVD collection um, and I ripped every one of them so that I could have them all digitized yep. on my hard drive like a big jukebox. Yep. Uh, so that's a good thing, but we don't know when that's going to happen. So that, next, keep an eye out for that. John will tell us he speeds. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next right. story. Google and Facebook are facing potential fines. Why? From the government. The government? For not giving them the proper access when the, when the uh, courts order wiretaps. And they're saying, well, Wire. hey, there's a problem here because you know we don't have that kind of manpower and resources to just tap people from. I mean, think about how many requests they could get just right. in the normal course of their business. But the government, the government, government. Is, is wanting to fine them tens of thousands of dollars just to uh, just because they're refusing to do so, uh, and then that pri that price, like if you don't pay within 90 days, I think it was, um, then you double that fine, like by day, like each day that fine would double. I think they should tell the government to. S okay, and moving on. Um. Do something. <laughs> So T-Mobile. I'm starting to sound like an anarchist or something. Yeah, right? you really Down are. <laughs> T-Mobile. Remember how we told you that T-Mobile was becoming the non-carrier carrier. They wanted to revolutionize mm -hmm. the carrier process. Which and is awesome, by the way, and uh -huh. should be like it is in Europe, which is which means that instead of having to sign a contract where they they subsidize your phone and bundle mm -hmm. it in and charge you more and you're committed forever what they're saying is you buy your phone but we will kind of uh, finance it for you over a period of 12 months but in the um, but in other countries do they if you want to get out of your non-contract mm -hmm. and you just want to leave mm -hmm. do they make you pay for well, the yeah, whole you'd have price to pay of the for the phone, phone? I mean, you, Decide you want a different car, you still gotta pay yeah, off the phone. I mean, you, you, you bought the phone, I mean, you gotta pay off the phone, okay? All right, so that is what's happening right now with T-Mobile. They were not very clear about that, um, and so they are being forced to be a lot more clear about that and tell their customers and refund customers who have already signed up. The Washington State Attorney General is the one that's all over the behind about it. So, hmm. Probably somebody sued him or something. Yeah. Okay, so speaking of people getting... Sued. Yeah, they're not. This isn't about sued. Anyway, Twitter hacking. You know, we've seen all this You're... crazy... How do you like that little graphic that Curly created? Oh, the my. Vendetta Twitter doc. Wow. Uh, so, you know, Twitter, the AP got hacked, and all these people are getting hacked, and Twitter is basically saying, you know what, we think that people are going to keep getting hacked. And you know what else Twitter is saying? What? They're saying... Oh, you should change your passwords and use hard passwords, and you should not share your passwords among other websites. All the stuff I've been telling people to do for like 10 years, all they did was look up my blog post right. on passwords and pointed people at it. So, you know, okay, Twitter, you're partially right. People do have a responsibility to protect their passwords, and businesses have a responsibility uh, in terms of who has access to their Twitter accounts and all that stuff. But I think Twitter has a little culpability here too because they, well, they have to work to protect their customers. Absolutely. When you become a big enough target that there is just constant threat, yeah. you need to do something. 
especially for big guys. Even if you charge them, I'm sure that big businesses would be happy to pay for an additional level of service at Twitter in order to right. be able to get things like um, additional authentication mechanisms, yeah. you know, and stuff like that. They have so, been looking into that kind of stuff, but haven't really made any progress yeah, or movement. No two-factor authentication coming at right. this moment. How are we doing on time, Ken? Because I right. can keep ranting about this. <laughs> Um, why don't we just go ahead and go off to commercial break All right. and then come back and we'll talk about like some gadgets. We only have 30 seconds stuff. and if I go, to, go on a rant it's going to be at least three minutes and then kill, Ken's going to kill me and it's going to be bad. So. And you're going out of town with him next week so you don't want him mad at you that's yeah. for sure. No I don't. <laughs> Alright uh, we will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Or go get some. I cut you off. Darn it. Why do you have to talk about popcorn? Now yeah, you want popcorn. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. I'm not going to lie. That no. felt good. I need some popcorn, too. Hey, Pablo. Yeah? <laughs> Intern. Burroughs Tech agrees with me. About what? About which one? Techno Gonzo has a Pablo, good... Pablo, don't listen to him. You're not supposed to get Te him drinks. Techno Gonzo has a good question. <laughs> Would we describe our channel as a tech channel or more of a news channel? Oh, yeah, very good question. I would describe our channel as more of a lifestyle channel. Yep. But we cover mostly techy stuff, uh, geeky stuff though. It's it's more geeky. Like it's not everything we cover isn't technology, but if you can geek out about something, that's kind of what we cover. I would say we're not really a news channel because no. for example, the guys that you know the bombing in uh, the bombing at the at the marathon we don't we don't cover that right. we, we don't cover things that are just strictly news although we may make mention of them especially as they relate to tech news uh, so we might be a tech news channel yep. but we go beyond that since we talk about things anything that uh, that geeks might love even if it's not tech like for example people have been digging the welding episodes right. And the blacks, the bladesmithing episodes, they and love that. And the travel that. that we do. And some of the travel episodes. Yeah. Yeah. I always Rami's, thought of it as fashion and personal hygiene channel. Rami said it's a mixture between tech and daily life. I agree. Yep. It's just kind of what. And geeky and, and people you know, like. I mean, I, we we um, we like to do. Yep. We like to have have fun with. Our delivery and our um, and what we do. So you know, we like to have fun with technology. We like to have fun with welding or whatever it is we're covering. Our main point is to entertain you guys if we can accomplish that. That's right. Uh, Richard Tech Video wants to know. Here's a question for everybody in here, and then we're going to ask you guys too. Kit Kat or Mars Bar? I don't have a clue what Kit a Mars Kat. Bar is. So Kit Kat all the way. Kit Ken, Kat. Kit Kat or Mars Bar? Kit Kat. Pa Pablo. Pablo. I almost called you Pedro. <laughs> oh, I was Pablo. thinking of hey, Pablo because Pablo. earlier I was thinking we should do a funny skit where you were Pedro from. Uh, they call me Pedro. What do you call it? Uh, call the, Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite. Oh. Uh, Pablo. Really? Kit Kat or Mars Pablo. Bar. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Kit. Clean sweep. Everybody says Kit, Kit Kat. Kat. How about you, you guys? Don't you remember Kit John? Kit Kat. Ooh, Bo's Mars Bar. Radio oh, Dan yeah. Mars yeah. Bar. Uh, Richard, you have to tell us since you're the one asking the question. Uh, Bruce wants both. Wayne Mars. Mars, Kit Kat, edition. Mars, Kit Kat. No, Kia, Kia Bar. Kia Bar. <laughs> Musketeers. <laughs> I love right. three Musketeers. All right, let's redo this poll. Kit Kat or Reese's Cups? Oh, that's much harder. That Kit is. Kat or Reese's Peanut Butter Cup? Kit Kat. Re Kit Kat I think still? I have to go. I, yeah. I'm Kit Kat torn. still, Ken? I don't eat chocolate or candies. I know, but if you were forced. How about you? Uh, it's hard. I love both of them. Reese's, I think I have to go with. Paul says peanuts could kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Frozen Reese's. Oh, those are good. Fried Reese's. <laughs> no. Yeah, Remy says that hard choice. Hey, what did we have that was fried at the at the fair here a couple years ago? Internet killed TV um, said Kit Kat. Fried stuff? It was s'mores. No, we had fried ice cream. Yeah, no, but we didn't. There was a candy bar, but it wasn't a Snickers. We had fried peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. That's what I'm thinking of. They yeah, were yeah, the yeah. greatest yeah. ever. They were. Yeah, they were really good. All right. Ken's about to kill us. Let's go.
I'm trying, Ken. Kind of. When are there going to be more welding videos? Not oh my until God. I, not until I finish the Synology Drobo comparison, apparently. <laughs> right. Because everybody's going to kill me if I don't get, get that, that done. Leg on the table fixed. Yeah, that's right. I, I could do a welding thing about how we yeah. fix the table. Okay, let's do this, Dave. All right, here we go. Your and turn to come back. This is for you, Pablo. Thread. Go. Uno. Hey guys, welcome back to Geek Beat Live. I'm actually getting in a better mood now. Good. I, gotta I say, think it's the viewers. I think it's the chat room that's getting you in a better mood. I will say that Geek Beat has the greatest viewers of any show in the world. Heck yeah. I, honestly, I swear to God that is true. I know. I, I mean, it's because we give have me a an polygraph. awesome community. It is. We are the, and you are guys, the best. You guys are always trying to, you know, keep everyone interested and talking to people and making them feel welcome. So we appreciate that. And so nice. We don't, room. you know, like, there's no one who comes in. Just no, <laughs> everybody's really nice to each other, helping each other all the time. It's the greatest community I have ever been part of in my life, and I'm so happy about. It. Anyway, enough of that. It is gadget time. <laughs> Big hug. <laughs> Group, yeah, right, let's get away from this mushy <laughs> stuff. It's gadget time. Well, this isn't so much a gadget as an app. Or okay, it's gadget and app time. Website. Okay, so Warner I'm pissed Brothers. about this. I know you are. <laughs> so nice. we watch Netflix. Um, Warner Brothers. Has Be clear decided, about how we watch Netflix. Uh, you want me to tell them that we break the law? No, that's not what I mean. Oh. Um. <laughs> I only watch Netflix. Is that true? True or false statement? That, that is true. I only have Netflix. Yes. So when something like this happens, John P's not a happy little camper. So what happened is that Warner Brothers, uh, MGM, and Universal contracts have ended. So 17, almost 1,800 titles are coming off of Netflix in May. Warner so Brothers, MGM, and Universal. I can't even Ooh. think about how many like movies and things that means we're going to lose. But you don't watch movies. on. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. I watch movies and I watch... You might mainly watch TV shows. Oh, God. Things. Please tell me Supernatural isn't MGM... Oh, it's a WB show, isn't it? Universal or Warner Brothers. It's Warner Brothers. Supernatural yes. is Warner Brothers? Yeah, yeah. And they're taking it off when? May. May 1st? May 1st? It's Wait, on we're past May 1st. This was an old story? How many? Oh. Like, there's like no, Supernatural's still on there. I was just watching it last night. No, it's starting in June, isn't it? All right, we're confused oh, about Lord. when it's coming off. Oh, my God. But, if, yes, if I lose, oh. <laughs> If I lose Supernatural, I'm going I to lose it. I should have skipped this story because you were starting to get into a happy mood. You love Supernatural. I love Supernatural. <laughs> I, I've only seen like three episodes. It's a, it's a really good show. It's funny. I'm, I, am, I am on the very last episode of season four. And all How I many know seasons is, are there? There's like seven or eight. All I know is it's titled something like Lucifer Begins or oh. something. So anyway, the devil is like about to come to earth. Wow. Maybe. So you Maybe can't not. lose it. Well, so Netflix is all about is saying, don't worry, you know, we're not losing. Like, most of that stuff is older movies. You won't really notice it. They didn't really say that, but that's kind of the feeling I'm we'll getting see. from them. Um, and, and they do have original programming, so you can watch their stuff. Do they have Supernatural? No, but then maybe I'm they have interested. something better. I'm going to cancel. I am going to, I'm going to cancel my Netflix oh, account no. that I share with Callie. Ken has good news for you. What? That is under a different contract. It has not ended. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Ken. Whew, it's two supernatural. more years. It's supernatural how great that news is. You have two is. more years of supernatural. Okay, good. Which you won't. I'll even, catch up. Yeah. It won't take me that long. All right, let's move on. So Other this people, while Netflix may be losing things. Regal Entertainment Group is getting things. After all the bad segues you've had lately, good job. Thank you very much. 
<laughs> so this is actually kind of interesting. You, you've seen a lot of um, uh, a lot of Pico projectors and you know smaller projectors and stuff. This is a tablet. wait. You skipped. Oh. You skipped a. You, you, oh, okay. Totally, I totally screwed up. Oh, I totally screwed up. Well, you might as well tell him now because Dave's running the commercial. No, no, he's running no. my thing. Yeah, he's running Regal, your thing. Regal Entertainment <laughs> I was Group getting confused. is bringing Sony accessibility technology to its theaters. So see these glasses? Yeah. They ordered like 6,000, or, or they or, they installed these glasses technology in 6,000 screens in Regal, United Artists, and Edwards branded theaters by the end of May. I mean, they're like there. Yeah. And they give closed captioning text on the screen, so, uh, on the glasses uh, for look, people who have yeah. like disabilities. They look really funky. So the first time you see them, you're like, what the heck? Yeah, they but look like Google Glasses. They look weirder than Google Glasses. But for people with disabilities, just as you said, and, and they need closed captioning, it's a fantastic idea. Um, and yeah, they have assisted lis uh, listening, so they can wear headphones as well. So I, I think it's pretty darn cool. That's pretty cool. Now you can talk I'm about sorry. your story. I, I didn't know what was happening. I was just reading what was on my screen because that's what we hosts do. I don't even have a segue <laughs> for this. Yeah, there's no segue. So you've seen, you know, the smaller projectors, Pico projectors that people can take into the businesses and use to do presentations and all movies and all sorts of stuff. The Promate um, technology has come out with the Lumi tab. This is actually a tablet that you can just use. Sweet. Um, it's an Android tablet, but then you can also use it to project uh, to 100 feet. No inches. 480p. Uh, I'm sorry, inches, 100 feet. <laughs> wow. Wait, this, the tables have turned. I know. Okay. Um, At 480p. 35, 35 lumens. It's only 35 lumens. Yeah. So that so it's means. It's not going to be like, you're not going to be watching movies. That means it. when you go to uh, Tennessee and you are hiking through the Ruby Falls cave, <laughs> you can. Turn this on and watch a movie in the cave because it's pitch black. But 35 lumens is not very much. Yeah, you, you really won't be able to do like presentations in a br bright room. I don't know. We'll have to see it. it. 35 so. lumens, really, really dim. But I was curious how you guys feel about you know a tablet as opposed to a separate device that uh, would do projection like Imagine that. Imagine my tablet having a little projector right yep. here and beaming. Beam, beam. Okay, we're done. I think it'd be pretty cool, actually. All right, next story. EA. We told you a couple weeks ago that uh, about LucasArts um, being, dying. Being killed off. Being killed off. Well, well, go ahead. It's not all dead yet, folks. EA is getting the Star Wars contract, but there won't be any of their games on Wii U. So uh, what's going to happen is... Some of uh, EA's studios, like the uh, DICE, Visceral, and BioWare, are going to be picking up contracts for the Star Wars games. Cool. Why are you laughing at me? Nothing. I don't care if I said it wrong. <laughs> uh, now you threw me all off. Anyway, <laughs> so you can look forward to those games on Windows and Xbox and PS3 and all that good stuff. Star Wars till your heart's content. Would you play those games on your way to Mars if you were one of the chosen? <laughs> Leave us a fame spot. Go to geeky.tv slash fame spot and uh, tell us all about your choice to go or not to go. I want gummy bears for my trip to Mars. Did you like my segue? That was pretty good. You just bang. Thank you, Phil. Didn't we? We started the whole show with a discussion about Drobo. Yeah, I know, but I mean, did we want to do a dedicated thing? No. No, that's okay. okay. We're good. We're golden. By the way, Digital Phil, I watched that, sh I watched that uh, song like a boss yesterday. I have a question for you guys. I asked it in the, in the show earlier this week. Are you sick of Google Glass coverage yet? If it takes me another three months, which it probably will at least, to get it? Do you even want me to get it? Do you even care at that point? Do you even point? care? Because I'm starting not to. See, Paul says a little bored of it. Eric, I'm sick of not having Google Glass. <laughs> I can't get enough Google Glass, Digital Phil. 
No more glass. No, wait, Gordon McLeod said no, comma, more glass. So he means he wants it. That comma, means I hope everything. that you put it in the right spot because. <laughs> Gordon's an author. He knows mm -hmm. what comma Right. Yes, and that means I want more glass. So by the time Google Glass actually hits the mainstream, you're not going to be able to use it anywhere except at your house. I know. Right. But Hank yeah. just said the same thing. Yeah, it's also banned by the casino. It's going to be banned everywhere before it's all yeah. said and done. Malls, secondhand Oh, yeah. Oh. You know, bookstores uh, and, and stores are going to be banning it. Um, bookstores? John, John, you remember when we were in L.A. and we stopped in that bookstore and we wanted to take a picture oh, of, yeah. our, of our friend's book? Douchebags. Oh, that's right. right. And the guy, the guy threw a, a fit because we were going to take a picture of the cover of a book that a friend of ours wrote. I was like, I can literally pull this up on Amazon and, and see right. the cover of, I mean, it's published Globally, yeah. like on the internet, exactly. all we want is a photo of the physical book in a which, nice by the display. Way, yeah, which by the way will sell copies of the book. Right. No. No. What the no, heck? No, no, Can no, I no. take a picture in here? Yeah. So I lost Google Drive. Are you getting? Um, I'm getting distracted by. Uh, are you getting angry? Is my? I am. My bad mood, uh, kind of. No, this email pissed me off. What? What do they say? Can I call them out? Do it. What the hell? I asked, Let's hear it. I asked the Cheesecake Factory for an interview at NRA uh -huh. at the National Restaurant Association. I got a nice response back saying, "Hey, can We'd you love tell?" To. No, we didn't. They didn't say that quite. We, we're, you know, like tell us more about it so that we mm -hmm. can find the right person to mm -hmm. interview. Mm -hmm. I had already told them mm -hmm. it was going to be at a National Registra Restaurant Association. And I went through the process. I told them all about it. I did a custom email. I get a response back. We're going to have to pass it because we don't have anyone there at NRA, even though they're going to be. And they oh, had. They don't have they anybody. Are, why'd they even ask they me for don't more have information? Video, video approved. I'm upset because I love the Cheesecake, cheesecake Factory. Is, cheesecake Factory. You cheese do indeed. Cheesecake Factory is full of ugly people, is what they're saying. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> That's and, what they're saying. Um, uh, Fine. Did, how did you enjoy your experience the other night? Actually, I well, I didn't eat very much. We went to um, Grand Lux. The Grand Lux. I've never been. I didn't even know it existed. Owned by Cheesecake Factory. It looks exactly like Cheesecake Factory. Only the nicer. Grand Lux. There is one there. Yes. Yeah. It's awesome. I love it. <laughs> Everyone's like, boycott Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> <laughs> no more Cheesecake Factory. Just because they don't have anyone there that can be interviewed by us. Hey, I'll tell you guys what you need to do if you didn't see it already. Is you need to retweet yesterday or something I tweeted about trying to get Stan Lee on the show. Yeah, help us out there, And guys. you got to retweet that. Everybody needs to pester Stan Lee until we can get him on the show because how awesome would that be? Yeah. All right, let's okay. keep going. No, okay, I'll do the show. Yes. We're going to do a show now. We still have stuff to shoot after the show, and we're only halfway through. Oh, good God. Hey, um, on this uh, Nokia thing, I'm not going to run. Uh, I'll run a little bit of audio, but I'm going to duck it pretty quick, so y'all just start talking. Oh, it we. All right. Mm. Oh, wait, we're supposed to talk over it? We're going to get it started. So I don't want the, the thing getting banned. Yeah. So but it's an ad. I know it's an ad, but it's also off We get banned right. for everything. He's not smart enough to know that we're news and comment. So Even though we keep it. telling them. I mean, All right. YouTube has like one person working for them, I think. <laughs> and that person's an idiot. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two. Hey, guys. How are you? I just saw a chat room post. Uh, will you play... Running with friends with me from Digital Phil. Oh yes, have you is downloaded there, it yet? Is that is that really a thing? I literally just saw that yesterday. It had, it only had like forty two reviews, and I downloaded it, but I have not yet played it. Is it is it running just, with friends? Essentially, what you do is you are running with the bulls uh, against your friends. It's an endless. Oh, it's not runner. like an exercise thing. No. Okay, thank it's goodness, because I won't play that with you. Do you know what an endless runner is no it's where the game starts and you like oh. move from lane to lane to avoid things and you just keep doing that until you die like temple oh, okay, run or, okay. it's supposedly that like that only 
It's everybody running against everybody else and running in front of bulls. Interesting. Bull running. Running of the bulls. Okay. Interesting. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, I, yeah. We're in the middle of a show here, and it's time <laughs> to talk about web stuff today. Indeed. So, uh, Nokia released an ad that has gotten everyone talking and watching because it was released like a week ago, and it's, it's already up to views. 5 million views. It's pretty good. Watch this. Joy of this beautiful day. So, uh, together, obviously, we're at a wedding here. Uh, we don't get to hear it, Dave Curley. You mean the he just told you that awesome before the break. <laughs> Search Listen to one trick pony. Aren't you a little young to have an iPhone? <laughs> you want to go? I sheep, copy box. So, Auto now correct. they're all going to fight. Oh, yes. And beeps about to get real. Yeah, they, then the, it gets really bad. No, it gets really awesome is what you mean. Okay, look at that. That was a flying tiger's crouching yeah, dragon. That guy right there is trying to move. to Google karate using Siri or something and not getting anything. And, now, and then we see the uh, guys with the Nokia Lumia 920. Look at that. Uh, they're just videoing it. I'm with that lady. The guy was like, should we tell them about the Windows? Uh, but I have a question. Can we go backwards? Uh. You want him to go backwards? Was he hold it? Was he videoing in portrait mode? No, he was talking about his phone. He's like, he's like, you think we should tell him about uh, Windows Mobile and go maybe back. they'll stop fighting? She's videoing. And she's like, no, I like it. I want to make sure. Oh. I want to make sure. Oh, okay. He was videoing it. And he turned. Around. Okay, okay, fair enough. I just want to make sure. That he wasn't. I'm with the chick in this one. She's like, no, don't tell him. I like this. <laughs> Let's let him go at it. Uh, it was awesome. And uh, speaking of on, people going at it, William Shatner went the at shat, it. The chat, the chat started a big old tussle online because he tweeted, and I quote, I don't exactly know what he said, but he said something <laughs> like, "Hey." Dude who's writing or directing or Damon producing Lindahl. or has something to do with the new Star Trek movie. Damon Lindahl. Happy birthday, except I hate you because I'm not in it. Right. And then he came back and he was like, oh my God. He got all excited. William he was Shatner like. William Shatner actually tweeted at me. <laughs> this is the highlight of my entire life. And William Shatner basically said, you well, suck. it shouldn't be, you pathetic, pathetic little <laughs> loser. Well, not quite that bad, but <laughs> no, I'll tell you didn't. what, if you go to these show notes right here. Geekweek.tv slash live99. You can see it, Ben's and it's actually awesome. Ben's got all the stuff there for you. And he can say anything he wants, because you know why? As Jay Bird said in the chat room, he's the chat. All right, well, the other thing that went viral this week was the Kmart video. Was that this week? Oh, that was like last week, and I was love it. Last week? it. Yeah. I love it. Okay. That is some funny ship. Ha, ha, ha. We're, we're not going to really play it. Can we watch it? Yes, we can. No, they can just go to, to the no. Live 99. i got to hear it now. Play it, Dave. Oh, play it for me. This is we, ship, like a, like oh, a pirate ship. I mean, there is, there, there is a lot of ship going on in this video. You hear that? I can ship my pants for free. Wow. I just may ship my pants. Yeah, ship your pants. Billy, you can ship your pants, too. I can't wait to ship my pants, Dad. I just shipped my pants. All right, so they are, uh... I just shipped my pants. Yeah. I think you have to be pretty immature to appreciate this one. Did you have that... Did you handle that ship I gave you earlier today? Right now. Really? You gave him ship? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's move on. This Ken's always shipping John, stuff. John P's full of ship. The P oh. stands for ship. Boys, are, boys <laughs> will be P. boys, I guess. The P stands for ship? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Oh, All right. All right. The, uh, let's go into science. All right. Science All right. Time. So this is actually really interesting. Well, we only have two minutes. Hannah Warren is a two-year-old Korean-Canadian that has nothing to do with this story whatsoever. Um, you can see she's here in the uh, hospital. But she's ha she had a birth defect when she was born. Uh, she did not have a trachea Good God. at all. So she can't talk. She can't make any noise. She can't eat. She can't drink. So, so what did they do? She's been kept alive with a, a feeding uh, tube. They grew 
a new windpipe for her out of plastic and her own body cells. How awesome is that? I have been telling you guys that this stuff is coming for years. Now my question is, and now they, it's coming. She's only a little baby. Are they going to have to like make bigger and bigger ones as she gets older and well, older? Well, because it's natural, because it's been growing. My understanding is that it should grow. They hope with it's going to grow up with her. Um, because it's her. it's natural tissue at this point. It's her own body, and so it should kind of the grow with her. But I, I'm not. Plastic was the skeleton, but the framework, the stem cells grew on. It. Yeah, so that's awesome. how they always do these things: is mm. they the stem cells grow around the frame. All right, well that's awesome. Very, Ship. very, very cool. So congratulations <laughs> to her. Um, fireproof material. All right, here's the deal. I'm going to cut to the chase with this particular story because Ken's telling me we have less than one minute to go. Here's the deal. Up in space, those guys are wearing fireproof underwear. Yes. I mean literally. Except that it's only fireproof on Earth. It's not, they have discovered, fireproof up in the International Space Station in zero gravity. Yikes. How did they, how did they discover their underwear was not fireproof? <laughs> I will leave that up to your imagination. <laughs> All right. So, well, I mean, they're, now they're doing testing, trying to figure out, you know, if something's only marginally fireproof here, what, is it going to be fireproof, or will it even go the opposite? And, and be more be fire... More fire... My, more fire... Prone. Uh, prone. There you go. Prone. Fire prone. Okay, I can't skip the next story. I don't oh, care what Ken on, says. Oh, come on, we can. No, there this is... This story... Ap I apologize shh, for the story in advance. Shh, shh. Ten shh. Years Look at that. What is that? What is that? Just look at the picture and tell me what it is. Just look at the picture and tell me what it is. It looks like our depictions of, of an alien. It, it, it doesn't look like our depictions of. That is an <laughs> alien baby. No, I don't know what it is. It's a six inch tall alien. Uh -huh. Although they're claiming that they DNA tested it and it was all kinds of human and stuff. But... I am not believing the hype. All right. I, I prefer not to let the facts get in the way of what I know to be true. <laughs> and that is an alien baby. And with that, we will leave you guys for just a few minutes and we will be right back. We're back up. They are among us. You guys tell me. Tell me. You saw the picture there. Is that not an alien? It's only six inches tall. That it's, mummified they, room. Some people believe that it's an a, um, uh, uh, like a fetus. Jazix wants to know, Jax's wants to know, is there an unboxing yes, today? Yes, of course. We are almost there. We've got robots and cars, and then we'll do the unboxing. But we don't have a lot of unboxings, but we have a little we bit. Not? We have some unboxings. I didn't today. even look at what we had. Are we unboxing aliens? Kev classic Matt Kevin wants to know. Right. No. I wish. Ask them if they saw our unboxings we did earlier this week. Oh, Pablo's giving you a preview of the unboxings. They're okay. sitting on the floor. There there, there, those are the <sighs> unboxing packages. Uh, hmm. Very possible. All right, ready? Mark Ski said, alien boxing? <laughs> That'll be the entertainment on Mars. Richard Tech Video says, breaking Apple two, Apple two-step authentication rolling out worldwide now. I really? I saw that. I meant to bring it up. Yeah. yeah. Are we doing audio on the smell vision? Yeah. Well, oh, no. you got to stand up. I'll just talk up. through it. I know. How would Apple do two-step authentication if they don't? You don't have any biometric type stuff on Apple devices. Maybe I will have to read about that later. Maybe it's just double. double. All right, Callie's going to sleep. <laughs> Time to roll it. Roll it, Dave. Roll <laughs> it, I, I brought us back from commercial last time. It's your but turn. But I took us out from commercial. That's the Should rule. Should we do a reboot? <laughs> no. Hey, folks. Welcome back to our time-delayed commercial <laughs> interruption response. A pro is supposed to pay attention to the director, which I did not. 
So let's and get no right one ever accused me of being a pro, so you know it wasn't my fault. <laughs> let's get right into robots, which will get me excited. All right. It is robot time. Hit me with your best shot. I have no. This is definitely not my best shot because I have to agree. Some things just should not be made, and there's no purpose for certain devices. Like what? Like these robots that have been made in uh, somewhere, Japan. Oh my God! What does it do? This robot actually smells your breath and uh, tells you if it's good or bad. So that you don't go out in public with bad breath. That robot looks dirty. I, she's wearing like I, the fur thing. What is that robot that doing? That robot is smelling your feet to the, tell you if you have smelly shoes, socks, or not. What are you supposed to do if you do? Change uh, change your socks or uh, take a breath take, mint. Yeah, take a breath mint. I guess these are meant to be like personal home use before you go out or something. I'm not really sure. Um, but the dog will actually like react in such a manner if it's smelly, it'll like bark and like hide and will it play dead. Your foot off? No, but it will cuddle with you if you have good smelling feet. Okay. And if you snore, it'll wake you up. I I have to say this. I see no purpose for this, but I had to share it because it was just so ridiculously funny. I'm just trying to figure out how they're going to incorporate that technology into another robot that kills us. I don't think they have any reason. I think they'll sniff us out. They're getting rid of the bloodhounds because they're building the robot sniffers so they can sniff us out out of the foxholes we're hiding in. How about something that's actually good? Okay. I knew I liked, I liked Okinawa. Yes. Yes, Okinawa, Okinawa was Tech. Awesome is uh, the Institute of Science and Technology there and the University of Electrocommunications in Tokyo have created a robot that can uh, swing a bat uh -huh. and learn from missed opportunities. And crack you in the head with it. <laughs> now, actually, if you look at this video, they're not, he's not using a bat. It's actually like a fan-like device at the moment because it's lightweight. Um, oh. But uh, they... It's using the NVIDIA, do you say that CUDA, CUDA technology? Not like cooties, but CUDA uh -huh. technology. Like Barracuda? Um, right. I don't know exactly what the CUDA is. Graphics chip. Oh, it's the NVIDIA. Yeah, okay. I thought that was actually two different things. Um, then the 100, it, it actually functions like 100,000 neurons. So the point being um, behind this that they can use this to learn how to uh, maybe put artificial brains in, you know, computers and because it's learning, it's a learning process. Yeah, so they're improving the comp they're improving robots abilities to learn and track things in motion. Uh-huh, exactly. And One then thing, hit them with baseball bats. Exactly. One thing you cannot complain about, John, is that Canadian Money is now going to come with a robot on it. Canadian Money is going to have a robot on it? Yeah. They're actually, they're space robots. The, um, they are now doing the $5 and $10 bills. The back of the $5 bill will have the, um, the Dexter and the Canada arm. Two. The, these are the robots. The Dexter, like the Geek Beat, Geek Beat Dexter. No, 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 no. <laughs> we didn't license that to the Canadian government. <laughs> no. Um, this is actually these are robots that served and maintained the uh, ISS. So um, now they're going to be putting them on the bills. Nice. And that's about all I have. I'm sorry. All right. Low news week. I know. <laughs> all right. Well. So we've got, it's time for... Do you have for, any uh, interesting uh, auto stories? Yes, planes, trains, and automobiles. Yeah. There are three different stories on today's run sheet, but guess what? What? You didn't read the first one. No, I didn't read the first one. Of course you did. I don't know. Tesla and Google are doing something? What are they doing? Tesla CEO... I don't know. I put it in there for you. ...is talking with Google about autopilot systems? Okay, well, that's kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, my understanding I'm of it is I'm going to make up the story. I don't no. want to hear what the story is. I'm making it up. Yeah, we're lifestyle, not news. This is my section. You I can't do what help. You, you do what you want with the robots. This is my section. So, today, um, Mr. Musk, the CEO of Tesla, announced that the next generation of all Tesla vehicles will be driven entirely by Google auto-driving robots. That's right. There are no steering wheels. 
In fact, there are no front seats. That Just a Google robot wearing Google Glass. Not the case. And you sit in the back seat. <laughs> and by the way, those cars also this have 1,000 so horsepower true. electric motors. This is not. They go 0 to 100 <laughs> in 2 seconds. And they have a range of 10,000 miles on one charge, which only takes five minutes to charge. So that's the story. That's our kickoff lead story. And now. And none of that. We're moving was to the Boeing supersonic concept. Now, here's the thing it's been a long time since we've had any supersonic aircraft because uh, they took the Concorde out of service back in like 2003. The chat room thinks you have snapped, by the way. They took the Concorde out of service in 2003, and why did they do that? Because A, it's very costly to operate, yes. and B, it's like, noisy. Like yes. 30 years old, too. It's noisy. Yeah, but half the planes we fly are 30 years old. They could only really fly the Concorde like over the ocean right. at supersonic speeds because when it breaks the sound barrier, yeah. other things tend to break, like windows and eardrums and they whatnot. They so far off the seaboard before they even went that's right. Yeah. So now, though, Boeing is developing a, a, a concept called the Icon 2, which is looking to change all that. It's cool looking. This is a, uh, it will cruise at Mach 1.6 to 1.8, which means, a, you know, 1.6 times the speed of sound. Yep. But when it breaks the sound barrier, it has some kind of way that it kind of, dissipates that sound uh, sonic boom. And, and so the, uh, then you'd be able to fly that? it over the U.S. How, how does, does it, it do that? that? Uh -huh. Okay, this is the part of the show when we get really highly technical, okay? So what happens is they load the back of the airplane with Gillette shaving foam. I knew, I knew they were going to do that. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. That's it, yeah. So, as on that. Exactly. So as the plane reaches, just before it reaches mm -hmm. uh, supersonic speeds, it ejects all of this foam. Then it breaks the sound barrier. Mm -hmm. Nothing but a nice, clean, smooth speed. And of course, the, uh, is, this, is this happening outside or inside the plane? Uh, well, they fill the inside of the plane with foam, too, but that's, that's for a totally different reason. Now, the last, the last story on the planes, trains, and automobile segment of the day is you can buy your own pirate ship. I want a Matey. pirate ship. Arg. I want one. Well, that How is a real, that's a real pirate ship. You can pick one it up. It looks a little used. $79,000. It's available that's right it? now. It's in St. Louis. Go pick it up. It's basically... It's going to require some interior designing, though. It's built on a 50-foot Gibson houseboat, which has dual 454 And I think I'm going to have to replace the... Uh, what is it called? The, the things over there. What do they call them? The sails. <laughs> the sails. I, I, I just blanked. I know. I no, just blanked. No. It has two bedrooms, two baths, and Those enough room... Those purple chairs. No, they for, have to go. For your favorite 30 scallywags. And that's want, it. I do want it. And that and is. I have to invest a little bit more to make it what I want. That is it for today's show, with the exception of unboxing time, which we will be coming back to you with after a short commercial interruption. But what but are they supposed we to do? do? We want you to tell us whether you would go to Mars, whether you want the opportunity to learn all you need to know and go die. to Mars die there and never see your family again. <laughs> yeah, would you do that? Go to geekbeat.tv forward slash fame spot and let us know. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you didn't make a ship joke. Yeah. I was expecting it. Story. Oh man, I can't believe I missed the ship I, joke. I'm shocked actually. Yeah, I, I am slow today. I'm repulsed. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Put the gummy bears on the Drobo Two of the things I love the most, and my Coke. You know what we need to do? We'll put the gummy bears oh, in front, geez. the Drobo on the bottom. Ah, oh, he is crazy, guys. He really is. And my Coke on top. There you go. Whoa. Okay. You okay there? You drunk already? 
Okay, bring us back, Dave. Bring us home. We're in the home stretch. <sighs> Welcome back to Geek Beat Live, folks. I always remember when it's my turn to bring you back from commercial break. I remembered it's your turn to bring us back from commercial break. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> you did. In fact, I think you remembered it was my turn last time. <laughs> Well, you guys, the show is almost over, and we're going to be sad to uh, say bye to you. But before we do, there is going to be lots of fun to be had because we have the unboxings. That's right. This is our What's pile first? of unboxings. I don't know. What do you want to unbox? Uh, this one because it's okay. close. I don't know. I'll have to do any work. You can do that Ooh. one. What do we have behind box number one? Oh. Yes, this is awesome. Oh, really? Look, it is National Lampoon's. <laughs> 30 year anniversary wow. vacation Blu ray Congratulations. edition. Congratulations. It's not even out yet. <gasps> Ooh, I do I like that. Maybe I'll actually watch it now. Have you never seen that? Oh my God. Mm, I, think wow. I, I, think I, I think I saw the first 10 minutes. Oh my I God. Saw an RV. There's an RV. You should in it, all right? tweet at Callie Lewis. <laughs> all right, well, now that I have it in Blu ray, I will watch it. I think you should all tweet at Callie Lewis and tell her your opinion of the fact that she has never seen National Lampoon's Vacation. All right. All right, I'm going to open this one because I think okay. it's closely related. Yeah, are you going to rip it, John? Ha! Huh. Because what we were talking about earlier. Uh, yeah. Look. More Blu-rays. Ooh, what do we got? The Ultimate Gangster Classics nice. and Collection. Contemporary Collections. What is yeah, this? Yeah, Warner Brother Blu-rays. Not even out yet. Not even on Netflix. Ultimate Not out yet. Gangsters. That's right. What is it about? Gangsters? Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to have a m movie marathon, and we're going to watch all these movies, and then let you guys know how they are, and whether you should run out and buy the Blu-rays, which... Probably you already know you should. I'm going to open this one, and I'm going to leave the big one for you because I believe great things come in small packages. Okay, let's see what comes in that small package. <laughs> All right, I have no idea what's in here. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, I remember yeah. this. Oh, I do too. Okay, this is the mini doc from Blue Lounge. Now, uh, as you can see back here, I'm going to show you the image first. You plug the Apple uh, charger into the wall, right? And then you plug this in. And it gives you a little bit of uh, space and a dock for your uh, iPhone or iPod or whatever. Wasn't that a Kickstarter project? Here, you need a... Was uh, it a Kickstarter project? I think it was. I don't think this I was. Remember, I remember talking about it remember somewhat we, recently. I don't know. Yeah, like six months ago? Yeah. Pull it out. Let's see, because there's a lot of people out there who have iPhones. I want to check this thing out. Pop. Goes the weasel. <laughs> Man, that is packaged Jeez. securely. Okay. Well, look. Actually, you could plug it into anything that is a USB port. It's yeah, a yeah, USB on this side. And it's just a dock standy thing on that side. So. But it allows you to put it, you know, kind of on the wall in a way uh, if you need that. All right. And cool. it is the new little, what's that adapter called? Oh, the lightning. Thunder. No, bolt, lightning. Lightning. <laughs> lightning. Okay. <laughs> let's check. Let's check what is in the giant pizza box okay. that says free sample for your review. Is it pizza? I hope it's not pepperoni. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Because it came in the mail. I don't smell anchovies. Ah, Ooh. check this out. An antenna. It is a flat Ooh. wave amplified HD TV antenna. Have you guys seen these before? This one, we've, we've reviewed one of these in the past, right. so it's pretty cool. I guess this is a new version of it. So the deal is, yeah, instead of... Yeah, this one is actually super thin. Instead of always paying for cable and it's whatnot... It's like flexible. For your, local, there you go. ...for your local channels, how about an antenna? But one problem with antennas is they're usually big and obnoxious. Right. However, this one, as you can see, is... Thin and flexible. Nice. And so you. How much is this, guys? Screw Shower? this. Screw this into your TV. Screw that. Mount this behind it somewhere. I guess there. I didn't see uh, if there's a mounting thing. 
But here's what's interesting. Actually, this we have not seen before. Look right here. You know what that is, Pablo? That, my friend, is a USB port. Yeah. And right. this, in this package, is a USB yes, cable indeed. and power charger, which means you plug that into the wall, give this thing a few watts of power, and get an amplified antenna for your TV. Nice. Very cool. And How much is it? They're saying it's $83 on Amazon. 83 bucks on Amazon. Very cool. All right. Well, we will plug it in, and we will give it a, a review. Pablo, this is your job. Pablo the intern is going to do a review on hey, that. Hey, guys, if you've been appreciating the reviews that have been coming out lately, a lot of them are being done by Pablo. So give him a, a thank you on Twitter. Yep. His What's your Twitter, Twitter handle is? Dr. Pablo. No. That dude Pablo. What? You changed it? That dude Pablo. Really? At that dude Pablo. He I like it, actually. He changed it. It's actually better than what he had because it's hard to say. I know. I thought, I thought you said Dr. Pablo for a minute. That would be thought, funny. That's pretty awesome. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us and for hanging out with us each and every week. We and for cheering it. me up. And by the way, yeah, somebody uh, pinged me, uh, both of us, and said that they watch us from the YouTube channel. And so thank you guys for coming off of the TV land and into the Twitter sphere. That's right. All right, guys, have a great week, and we will see you next week. Actually, next week is show 100. <gasps> I don't even know what we're going to do. But we're maybe, not doing one oh, next week? Yeah, we forgot. We're yes, out of we town are. next week. No, you guys are back in town. It's not on the calendar. Are we doing the live show next week or not? Oh, no, because it's the day before. Oh, you guys are out of town, and then we leave out of town. So it's the like, only day we have to do anything around two here. Two weeks. In two, two weeks, weeks guys. we'll do show number 100. So you guys stay tuned for that, and we will see you later. Bye. All right. <sighs> the count. <laughs> P Pet Countdown. Rock Media says the countdown is wrong. Oh. Then. No. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm sure you guys will have the show without us anyway, because you, you yep. know, our, our not being on the show never really seems to stop you guys from having the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope I sound sincere when I'm thanking you, because I mean it. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Monty. Yes. Next week is Chicago. Indeed. Yeah, we should have mentioned that. And we're going to go bowling in Chicago. We are going bowling. God, I'm so a you guys bowler. I hate when you say that. So John used to be in a league, so he's really good. And he actually keeps his own bowling ball and bowling shoes. Techno, tech, Techno Gonzo wants to know. That would have been awesome. Maybe he just pulled it out. Techno Gonzo wants to know, in your opinion, what is the best DSLR on the market right now? Really? You're going to get him started on this? Okay. <laughs> but the, Trey and I will will agree disagree. to disagree. Ken just left the room. He's like, oh, God, this is going to okay, take forever. Okay, but, but keep it short because we do have to shoot. I'm going to. Okay. Okay, so here's the deal. If I had to pick my own favorite, I would say it would be the 1D series, the Canon 1D series. But that's the big pro body one. If I could only have one camera, I would want that. However, that is not by any any means what I would recommend for your average average consumer uh, I think there is a different DSLR for each range of person and even for different specific purposes for example I love the Nikon D800 um, for about three thousand dollars. Ken did you just take a coupon from my desk? Yes he did why not. <laughs> um, awesome. I also love for the price I awesome. love the Canon. <laughs> no, I'm glad you did. Take it. No, <laughs> she. I also love the Canon T4i for a kind of budget, budget-friendly uh, DSLR. Oh God, you people. I don't know why I'm laughing. I guess the show's over, folks. <laughs> All right. I'm only laughing because Dave is laughing. Keep going. She I'm done. Coupons, but when she does, we take them. <laughs> I'm done. All right. the, Paul did, said the wheels came off. Did you answer his off. question? Banana. <laughs> Banana. All right, all right. Ken wants us to go because we have to shoot. Oh yeah, Ken. Did you oh, answer yeah. his question? And Ken is sick. I answered his question. Okay, okay guys. Tell that guy who bought the only D's that's the best camera on the market. What? 
Yeah. Oh, the Olympus OMD, I shoot that, but just got an OMD E5 and I'm in love. Ken says that's the best camera on the market. <laughs> and you can read my review of it. And you can read his review of it on Geekbeat. So <laughs> and the 10,000 pictures he's taken with it. Where is it? Is it on Geekbeat or is it on your, okay. It's on Geekbeat. All right, guys. Well, thank you. We'll see you uh, on the chat room and in the social media space and in the Geeks community, but not next week. I'm slowly fading out. Say goodbye. Are you talking about me? <laughs> goodbye. No, bye. Goodbye, Gracie. Bye. Goodbye. No, 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 that's done. Yeah. Huh?